Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about example problem on IEEE single precision floating point representation in computer architecture course, computer organization course, computer organization and architecture course. In the previous video, we have already solved one example problem. Now, in this video, we have to solve another example problem on the same topic. The given problem is represent plus 28 base 10 in IEEE 754 single precision format using implicit normalization. The given decimal number is plus 28 base 10. We already know the IEEE 754 single precision format. It contains 32 bits starting from 0 and ending with 31. Total 32 bits can be classified into 3 fields. The first field can be called as Mantisa. It contains 23 bits starting from 0 and ending with 22. Total 23 bits can be allocated for Mantisa. Next, this is biased exponent. It contains uh, 8 bits starting from 23 and ending with 30. Next one. This is a sine bit starting with 30 and ending with 31. Only one bit is allocated for sine bit. So, if sine bit as value is equal to 0, it represents a positive floating point number. If sine bit value s is equal to 1, it represents a negative floating point number. Okay, so based on the sign bit value, we can say that whether the floating point number is a positive floating point number or a negative floating point number. Okay, now here we have to use two types of normalizations. The first one is explicit normalization. The formula for explicit normalization is minus 1 whole power s into 0 0.m into 2 power e minus bias value. Here e is nothing but bias exponent value. Here bias value. In the case of single precision format, bias value is equal to 127. E is nothing but biased exponent. Next, the formula for implicit normalization is minus 1 whole power s into 1 point m into 2 power e minus bias. Okay, here s is nothing but sign bit, e is nothing but biased exponent, here bias is nothing but 127. So the difference between the two types of normalization is in the case of explicit normalization, here we have to use 0 0.m. In the case of implicit normalization, here we have to use 1.m. Only the difference is here, the remaining this one and this one is similar. Among the two types of normalizations, the default one is implicit normalization. Whether it is mentioned in the given problem or not, the default one is implicit normalization. Okay. <coughs> now we can go for the given problem. The given decimal number is 28 base 10. Okay. So here this is a plus 28 base 10. So, what is the sign bit value here? So, 
sine width is sine value is a plus so that plus is occurred when the sine width value s is equal to 0. So therefore sine bit is equal to 0 because the given decimal number is a positive decimal number positive decimal number can be occurred when the sine bit value is equal to 0 so that the sine bit value is 0 so therefore s value is equal to 0 now next one we have to convert the given decimal number into binary form by successively dividing the given number until the quotient value is 0. So 28 can be successively divided with 2, 2 14 28 here the quotient value is 14 and the remainder value is 0. Again quotient value not equal to 0. Again, we have to successively divide it with 2. 2 sevens. Remainder value 0. Quotient value 7. Remainder value 0. So, quotient value not equal to 0. So, that successively divided with 2. 2 threes 1. Remainder is 1. And quotient value is 3. Quotient not equal to 0. So, that successively divided with 2. 2 ones remainder value 1. So quotient value is not equal to 0. So that you have to successively divide it with 2. 2 zeros remainder value is 1. Now we are getting the quotient value is 0. So that the remainders can be written in the form of from top to bottom. Sorry, from bottom to top. Sorry. The remainders can be written from bottom to top. That is 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, base 2. Okay. So, 28 <coughs> base 10 is equal to 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, base 2. Now, in triple one zero zero this value can be converted into this form this form okay so here one point m m is nothing but mantissa so mantissa is always a fraction value so here where is the decimal point the decimal point is here here there okay you have to move the decimal point one bit at a time towards left. So, first time, second time, third time, fourth time. After moving four bits from right to left, we are getting one point, one point, one, one, zero, zero. So, it is similar to 1.m something. 1.m. Okay. So, that we have to write how many, how many places we have to move the decimal point from right to left. Four decimal, four decimal places. So, that you have to write 2 power 4 times. Okay. So, first time, second time, third time, fourth time. So, that you have to write 2 power 4. Okay. Now, it is similar in the form of 1 point m into 2 power e minus bias value. See this one? It is in the form of this formula. 1 point m into 2 power e minus bias value. Okay. Now, <coughs> so when we are comparing this one with this one, so what is the values we are getting? So, m. m is equal to 
So M is always represents a fraction value. After the decimal point, whatever the value we are getting, that value can be treated as mantissa. After the decimal point, so 1100 is there. So that the mantissa is 0 0.1100. So mantissa is always a fraction value. After the decimal point, whatever the value is there, that value can be treated as mantissa. Okay. So 0 0.11, after that any zeros are there, simply we have to ignore it. Otherwise, you have to keep it. No problem at all. Next one. Here, so when we are comparing this one with this one, we have to find the M value. Next, you have to find the E value. So here, this one is compared with this one. So E minus bias value is equal to 4. E minus bias value is equal to 4. Okay. Here, 4 is nothing but true exponent. Okay. Then, well, how will you get E value? E value is equal to 4 plus bias. What is the bias value in single precision format? So, the bias value for single precision format is bias is equal to 2 power n minus 1 minus 1. Okay. n is nothing but number of bits allocated for exponent. So, 8 bits are allocated for exponent. So, that 2 power 8 minus 1 minus 1. So, 2 power 7 minus 1 that is equal to 127. So, in the case of single Christian format, bias value is equal to 127. So, we have to substitute the bias value 127 here. So, 4 plus 127 that is equal to 131. Now, this 131 can be converted into binary form. So, how will you get in 131? So, here I am writing in terms of 2 powers. 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 4, 2 power 5, 2 power 6, 2 power 7. So, 131 can be written in terms of 2 powers. Okay. So, <coughs> 131 can be written in terms of 2 powers. So, what is the nearest 2 powers for 131? 128. So, 128. So, what is the remaining value? 3. What is the nearest 2 powers for 3? 2 power 1. Next, what is the remaining value? 1. What is the near, uh, what is the uh, power value for 1? 2 power 0. 2 power 0. So, this is a 2 power 7. This is a 2 power 1. This is a 2 power 0. Okay. So, 128 plus 2 plus 1. 131 can be written in terms of 2 powers. 128 can be written in as 2 power 7. 2 can be written as 2 power 1. 1 can be written as 2 power 0. So, whatever the 2 powers we are getting at that places, we have to write 1. Whatever the 2 powers missing at that place, you have to write zeros. So, here 2 power 7 is there. So, that you have to write 1. Next, 2 power 6 is not there, 0. 2 power 5 is not there, 0. 2 power 4 is not there, 0. 2 power 3 is not there, 0. 2 power 2 is not there, 0. 2 power 1, yes, it is there, so that its value is 1. 2 power 0, yes, it is there, its value is 1. This is the binary equivalent of 131. Now, we are getting S value, we are getting M value, we are getting E value. Now, 
substitute these values in 32 bit format okay s value how much this is 0 it contains only 1 bit next exponent value what is the x here this is bias exponent value here bias value is already added so that this is the bias exponent value it contains 8 bits so how many number of bits are there 8 bits are there so that you have to write here 1 5 zeros next 1 1 so this is the s value this is a e value this is only 1 bit this is 8 bit next here what is m value m value how much so we we are taking only after the decimal point so after the decimal point what is there 1100 0, 0. so here you have to write 1100 0, 0. only we have to consider whatever the digits are there after the decimal point that digits can be considered as mantissa so 1100 0, 0. but how many bits are allocated for mantissa 23 bits how many bits you have to write here 4 bits remaining 90 bits can be put as zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 so here 19 19 zeros plus these two zeros 21 2 ones 23 so 23 bits allocated for 90 sub 8 bits are allocated for bias exponent and the 1 bit is allocated for sine bit so this is the IEEE 754 single precision format for plus 28 base 10 this is the answer this is the answer in this way we have to solve the given problem whenever we are giving represent plus 28 base 10 the answer is a this one 32 bit format okay i hope all of you understanding this video if you really understanding this video please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates if you really like this video please subscribe my youtube channel Devela Srinivasara after subscribing my youtube channel click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my youtube channel if you have any doubts in this problem put your comments in the comment box i will try to clarify your doubts thank you thank you one and all for watching this video here the zeros are added at lsb site okay thank you